Hey guys, it's Sean and I, and today's video is all about changing up my son's nature table area. As you can see, he's really enjoyed it over the summer. He's been playing with these items and all this open-ended play and just exploring with different things and collecting different things that he finds outside. But I do have some stuff here that I'm going to change up. There's still some, you know, artwork from the 4th of July up and, you know, some more up here from Canada's Day. So I'm going to be taking those down and then reorganizing this and setting it up again. And then there's, you know, some new items that he had gotten. So I want to put them out for him to use. So like this microscope. But um, yeah, my son really likes taking these items and looking at them and exploring. Just using them, he uses the sticks with his cars and the pieces of wood and there was some stuff from our beach unit study like this claw from a lobster. So yeah, I'm just going to be reorganizing it. And then I have some newer items that I want to kind of take some of these items out and add them in. More fall kind of items. So we have, he's been collecting, he collected these all with my mom. These are acorns, so I'm going to be adding those to the table. We have these large pine cones here, and these ones are uh, scented, so they came from uh, Dollarama, and there's uh, some rocks he collected. So yeah, I'm going to be changing some of these items and just kind of reorganizing this area. And I also have some other stickers that are uh, Monarch Butterfly stickers in the kitchen, so I'm going to be adding those to this as well. just wanted to show you a kind of before, and then I'll show you an afterwards. So I'll just show you quickly what I removed. I just removed some of these old, like we had these orange pill things as like a sense activity. And there was like this old broken peacock feather here and some broken pine cones and some of that stuff. So I just put that in the compost. I removed these items like the flower items and some of his peg dolls and some of these butterfly pegs and these two birds and his little piece of a beehive and that tray there and I'll show you what I added so I can hey sorry my camera just cut out there for a second but anyways what I added was uh I kept his birdhouse but I added these two little clip-on birds from Dollarama this little bird nest here and this is his little microscope that I found at once upon a child that lights up and I left a little lobster claw there and two shells and then I have this mat here it's like a bamboo mat for him to, you know, take out and look at these items. And then this wicker basket just has some of his finds. So pieces of wood he found that people have cut. And one of the acorns is here. And there's just rocks and wood and stuff like that. I added some of these walnuts for him to look at. His large spider and his praying mathis I left in here. And then to come along, I only left three of the pig dolls out to represent myself, his dad, and him. And then we recently took a trip to the zoo. He liked the rhino, so I left a little rhino figurine here. And I like hippos, so you can play with those. I added two of those scented pine cones here. And then we have this little skeleton of a frog, which was found at Valley Village for $5. So I left that for him to look at and explore. The little basket here that held like his feathers and pegs. I only left two of the butterfly pegs and there's a feather that he found at Wasega Beach and his peacock feathers and his little fly swatter he always likes playing with and the stick. And then we have another little bowl down here with like some beech wood and some other sticks. This one's from our birch tree. This one's pretty cool. It's a pine cone but it's still green and it has like sticky sap on it that he found. And then as I come up the wall, I took down the artwork that was Canada Day and 4th of July. I did keep some stuff like um, our calendar that we do every month. It's I like it because it's kind of like woodland animals around here. And we just stick a sticker for each month as we do them. I left this artwork up. These are some watercolors. This one has like a fish, a lily pads, and this one is a girl on a bird with some flowers. And I did leave up his stamping art when we did animal tracks but then I added some of the monarch butterfly stickers just to give it some more little color anyways I just want to show you um, you know how I redecorated his nature table 
there's less items now so I think you'll have more room to ex actually explore these items so I just want to show you our new nature table setup thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video bye